Pete from the Harvest Moon Collection. Yeah. All right. For those of you that have no idea who this character is or even Harvest Moon in general, let me explain. Pete himself is the main protagonist in this simple farming game where you farm, work, and make some friends and even date them. But it all really started when his grandfather lent him the farm with a huge mess because he's too lazy to do it himself. Yeah. Pretty much it. However, the game is incredibly satisfying, and yeah, it is very good. However, today the game is very underrated, and you probably have no idea who this character is unless you're the one who requested this. I don't know. But what if he joined back? Or actually, it was never in Super Smash Bros. My bad. What if he joined Super Smash Bros. to regain all his fame, and maybe we can have him work by fighting other people? I don't know, that was a terrible intro, whatever. Now, let's get right into things. Anyways, things you need to know. Pete would be mid-weight and he'll have only two jumps. No additional move options. Starting with Pete's jab, we're going to have to have a one-tap spamble jab. Yeah. It is a very, very spinnable move, which does leave him pretty vulnerable. It's not too powerful since it is a jab, it only deals 2% damage, but it can easily rack up if you keep doing this. It's kind of as annoying as Mewtwo's uh, jab, if you know what I mean. Oh, we hate those, don't we? Moving on, his dash attack can have him pull out a bag of seeds, swinging it forwards. Pretty simple. However, this move is pretty heavy, so it has a little bit of end lag, as it does deal quite a bit of damage. His sight still, we haven't equipped the hoe. This will have him swing it high to low, and then smacking it to the ground. It is also a pretty rapid spamble tilt. This is also a pretty important move, and so is all the other tilts, but I'll explain why later on. Just keep these moves in mind. Now for his up tilt, we're going to throw a pack of seeds upwards, which hits all around him. It's also gravity effective, so it will also fall off the edge, dealing small amounts of damage to any foe going off the ledge. Or at least coming back to it, I guess. And for his down tilt, we get him equipped a watering can. This, we will just have him, well, water the ground, or below the foe, because this is an edge guarding tool, as the water is, once again, gravity affected. Even though I never mentioned the water, but you know what I mean, the up tilt was gravity affected, and yeah, moving on. This deals small amounts of damage, but once again, it is pretty spammable, and is a useful tool for edge guarding. Also, originally in the game, if you know what I mean, you will have to refill this bu uh, bucket, but that won't be the case. It's Smash, and there's no way to do that. And if it is, we actually we can do that, but it's just not worth it. Okay, now we got the tilt stone. Let's get on to the smashes. The side smash grab equipped an axe, swinging high to low. This is also a pretty effective move, and does have a sweet spot if hit right in the middle. This also comes in pretty fast. So be aware of that. However, it, even with the sweet spot, it doesn't deal as much damage as a normal smash. Just by, like, I don't know, 2%. If you want something more t powerful, then just wait. His up smash, we have equipped a water spinner. 
This will first deal mobs like hidden damage, then launches the foe upwards. But that's only if the foe is stupid enough to land on this move. Oh, wait. Anyways, for Pete's down smash, we have him equipped a hammer. The hammer is usually meant to break, well, big boulders and stones, so why not? This is a pretty powerful move, and yeah, it is also an edge guarding tool. If you're on a ledge and you have your fingers trying to hold on, ugh, getting hit by this move, yeah, you're going to break a few fingers, I can tell you that. Once again, this is a very powerful move, but yeah, a little turnout. It, it's a one smasher, and not only that, it has a bit of end lag, so use this wisely. But if you do end up using it wisely, then it will be worth it. I can tell you that for sure. For his neutral air, we can grab the seeds again in the bag and then spins with it. It's once again a little bit of a hard move, but once again, adds a little bit of end lag. His side air, we can have him equipped a brush and brush the foe away. It does have a little bit of knockback and it is a little bit spam spammy. His back air, we can have him grab a paint bucket and paints the foe or anything behind him. This will also give the foe a paint effect, which would make them heavier and slower. The up aerial, we have him ring the bell above him. This is a this will hit twice, and it does once again, like the de like the side smash has a sweet spot if you hit right in the middle. And finally, for his down air, we have him equip the hoe again. And swings below him. This is based on one of the games as we see this guy jumping and hitting the ground with the hoe. It'll be less work to jump, I can tell you that, because, uh, yeah, it's it is. Pete will have a wide range grab by having him use another friend's fishing rod. This move actually works exactly like Steve's fishing pole, which is a wide range grab. Now for his pummel, we have him grab the foe with two hands, then stomps on the foe's toe. In this case, it doesn't really work because he's a sandbag and he doesn't have any toes. Lucky for him. But we are using, we always use sandbags for the grab, so we honestly have no choice. You lucky dang sandbag. Anyways... His side throw can have him do an overhead toss. His back throw can have him drag the foe onto the ground and throws them. This actually does have a digging thing that it will actually make a ground projectile or ground tile that I'll explain in a minute. The up throw can have him do another overhead toss, but he throws the foe upwards. And his down throw can have him throw the foe downwards. Now, remember the concept of Harvest Moon in general that I've been explaining before? Yeah, that's right. You have to work and farm. It's pretty much the, that's pretty much it. No fighting or anything. Of course, we of course I gave him an entire moose that he's supposed to fight. I mean, yeah. Otherwise, it's not really Smash, isn't it? Or a fighting game. That's not the point. We're getting off track, okay? Now the main point is is that is it really a uh, a good move set if you take off the entire farming mechanic of it. Are you supposed to work in a farm in order to, well, succeed at this game? Well, of course we should do that. That's why I'm giving him a gimmick for this. Well, it's kind of less of a gimmick and more of a command. A move command, to be exact. Anyways, let me explain. So, if you use the side tilt, which is the hoe, and the down throw, um, sorry, back throw, that's incorrect, which is the foe di uh, di dragger, this, or that, will give you a ground tile. Now, if you then use the up tilt on the ground tile, you can, well, plant seeds on it. Because, yeah, that's the up tilt, seeds. Then, if you use the down tilt, which is the watering can on that tile, it will then slowly grow a plant. Now you might be wondering, what plant? Well, I'll explain that in just a second. 
Off to the specials. Whee! Now, for his neutral special, we will have a menu appear of which plants he is able to grow. You might be wondering now, what plants? I will explain. The first plant can be the most deadliest poisonous plant ever. A cabbage! Oh, that's not that deadly. Never mind, I lied. Anyways, the cabbage is simply a gravity affected item that deals small damage, but has far range. It deals about 4% damage, and it does have grow time of 15 seconds. The next plants can be the watermelon. The watermelon is a heavy gravity affected item that deals massive damage, but has very short range. When hit in the ground, or even a foe, the watermelon will actually explode and splatter. The damage in itself will actually deal 22 damage, but it does have a little bit of splash damage, or the exploding pieces, that will deal 3% damage each chunk. Its grow time is 30 seconds. Now for the more status affected plants, the strawberries are healing items that would remove all status effects and would heal a bit of damage to paint. Anyways, this heals only 4% damage, but it still can be a little bit useful at times. It's growth time, it's 25 seconds. And last but not least, we're gonna have the Blue Rose. The Blue Rose is a stat booster that would boost the speed stats. This growth time is only 30 seconds. Now, a little bit more on the neutral special. In order to choose which seed you want, you have to hold B. Then, use the trigger to move the select option. If you, well, just tap it, then those four plants I just mentioned, which the first is the cabbage, then the watermelon, then the strawberries, and then the blue rose, it will go clockwise. Alright, the cabbage is on the top left, then watermelon's on the top right, the uh, strawberries on the... Uh, bottom right and the blue rose is on the bottom left. Anyways, moving on. You may only create a max of six plants. Or should I say plant a max of six plants? That makes more sense, doesn't it? Anyways, yeah. You can, well, dig up as much ground as you want just to mess with your foe. But you may only plant six plants. Anyways, also foes are able to destroy ground tiles and plants by using a move that hits the ground. Pete may also destroy tiles by using his side smash, the axe. Why? Because it hits the ground. Also, I don't know. Anyways, now one more thing. In order to grab a plant, you have to press A next to or on top of the plant, if you didn't already get that. Anyways, now we got the neutral special done, let's get into the side special. His side special, we have him equipped a wind-up toy. Or a wind-up animal, whatever you want to call it. The wind-up animal is a simple wind-up toy that would go infinite range, and if any foe is landed on top of this, then it would deal lots of heavy damage until they jump out of it. It's not a grab command, it's just that, well... Just smash that, that it's not easy to go out of uh, flinching damage moves. Anyways, it may be destroyed by almost any move. It has only like 2% of HP. And it may be grabbed, and then, well, you can use it against Pete. However, once again, it's pretty fast, and it's pretty small, so it is easy to, uh, easy to jump over. Now... Pete is able to summon two at a time. Then he has to wait until one of them gets destroyed or they fall off a ledge. That's pretty much it. Now for his up special, we, we can have him equipped. A teleport stone. What do you think it does? It teleports Pete. That's it. Pretty simple. And finally for the down special, we, we can have him have it use his inventory or his rucksack this can have him pull out his rucksack and then we can have him well grab any projectile that comes near him 
Then, you see the, his down special again will have him throw back that projectile that he grabbed. Kind of working like Isabelle's and Villager's neutral special, if you know what I mean. Anyways, yeah, I guess that's it for specials. Let's get into the final smash. Four piece final smash! We can have him have a parade of animals stomp onto the foe. This is a cinematic foul smash, so he will have to grab the foe first. Then he will put the foe into the town, and they will be crushed on the uh, on the floor before they even got up. A whole bunch of animals are stampede on them. Kind of working like Yoshi's final smash. Th once again, for like the second time, this is a cinematic final smash, so if above 80% damage, it is an automatic KO. Now, for his first all, we're going to have his recent appearance with the blue overalls and the blue hat. Only thing really changing. The next one can be based on the classic appearance, which he will have a green hat and a darker blue overalls. The next one can have a red alt with a red hat. This time, we have to have a blue scarf and some blue overalls. And the last all for Pete... We could have and have a purple hat and some purple overalls. The next is actually an alternate costume, which her name is Claire. Clarence, whatever you want to call her. Whatever. Anyways, this is uh, opposite gender and another gender that you're able to play in the game. Some of the games, not all of the games will allow you to do this. Anyways, the fifth dog could be Claire, which we will have her have her red shirt with her blue overalls the next one can be a blue alt with her blue shirt and a lighter blue shade of code for the overalls the seventh one can have, an, can have her have a green alt which is some dark green uh shirt and some dark blue overalls i guess and the last one could be a yellow alt. Now then, for their taunts, we have them, well, get really tired of smashing, I guess. And then they quickly fall, but then quickly gets back up. For their second taunt, we have them eat a wild berry of grapes. That's what the game calls them. A wild grape berry. And the last taunt can have them pull out their dog. Yep. Man's best friend, even though he can play as clear now. Whatever. Now, for the victory animations for both of them, we're gonna have them, well, raise their fists upwards. This is based on this badge that we see in the game. The next victory animation, we can have them water their garden. But then notices that the victory screen is going on, so they just smile at the victory screen. You, I guess. And the last victory animation, we can have them, once again, pet their dog. Because dogs are lovely animals. I don't have one myself. Because, I don't know. We, we just don't have the space for it. Whatever. Main thing is, dogs are man's best friend. You got that? Okay. Anyways, that's it. That's what if the farmer, or in this case, Pete, was in Smash. I hope you enjoy, enjoy this moveset, and if you did, please consider subscribing. If you don't feel like subscribing, then no cookies for you. Oh, wait, I used that joke before. <gasps> er, okay, if you don't feel like subscribing, then just give it a thumbs up. If you want to hang out with any of our community or everyone or all the fans, I guess you can join our Discord server. And... Oh. There is no and. Oh, okay. Well, uh, that's it. That's one of Pete's and Claire wasn't smash. Hope you enjoy this moveset. So long, peeps.